Okay, so you can see here we've got a, a, a quickly just a sample tagged game, so I've only eight tags on the game. And what we're looking at is editing the mass, so a large selection of events, we want to edit them all at once. Now it's quite easy to edit the text of any event, so you click and hold, select the events you want, then you right click and edit, and we can say instead of four, we might say United to make it relevant to our team. So that's one way of editing the events, it, the descriptions of them, I suppose. But we also want to edit the timings, which is a little bit trickier. So for example, if I was to double click on this event and play it, what I have is a timeline video here, so I have the start of the clip and the end of the clip. But now I want to make it longer or shorter, depending on the requirements of the team or the manager. So I do that clip by clip, I just drag out any event you can see there and I make it 14 seconds and I can make it longer at the start or short at the start depending on what I want to do. So you can edit each event independently of each other quickly that way. But what if you want to edit all the events? So for example I've tagged this game and I know I've made some mistakes in terms of the timings. The corners really should have been 15 seconds not 10. Well that's quite easily done now since version 6 is you can highlight the all the events you want, right click and edit in the duration column and simply type in what you want the new timing to be so I want it to be 15 seconds and it makes them all now 15 seconds long and likewise if they were of different lengths so you can see here the corner against is 10 seconds so if I highlight them all and edit and I just want to add 2 seconds to every event I can just do the plus 2 on my keyboard and enter and it'll add 2 seconds to every event regardless of what the original timing was so it's a really handy way if you know you've made a mistake with your timings, but rather than going through each independent event and editing it, you just mass do it. And you can also do the same for the position. So the position is where this clip started, so the time the clip started. And again, we might want to edit that, which is the same effect of really reducing your pre-roll, or increasing your pre-roll, depending on what you want to do. So instead of typing in a number here, because that would set all the positions to the same number, what we want to do is just add time to it. So in this case, we're going to do plus three, which will add three seconds to every event. And you'll see now when I click enter, you see each event starts three seconds later than it, than it had originally. And the same, you can do minus, so you can just take away those three seconds and hit enter, and it takes the three seconds off. So it's a really good way, if you've already tagged a game, know you've made a few mistakes with the timings, and you want to go back and edit, you can just highlight the events you want, and you do plus or minus, or type in a time, whatever's handier for you. I really like it as a feature, I think it really works well.